what's going on everybody tonight we are going to be reviewing Fletcher Azul Tequila founded by Abraham Answer, Aaron Marquez and backed by Mark Wahlberg who puts the checks behind me get it out there on the marketing and now it's grew and now you can find it at Total Wine across the world and Reserve Bar online so today we've got the Blanco. All this was bought at Total Wine in store. So we got the Blanco. We've got the Reposado. Next we've got the Anejo. And Cristalino is unavailable here in my area and it's unavailable online to purchase. So the next one, the top, top tier one is the Extra Anejo with the fancy bottle go for about $300 for this bad boy. All right, let's give you some background on Fletcher Azul. Now, it's Hinto in Mexico, enjoyed everywhere. Fletcher Azul remains committed to producing only the finest ultra premium tequila crafted authentically in Tequila Jalisco, Mexico, and made to be enjoyed around the world. So the agave, agave is grown in the heart of tequila, known for its geography and soil that produces the finest Blue Weber, Blue Weber agave in the world. So you can find all this info will be in the link below on Fletcher Azul. Here are the founders right there. So Fletcher Azul. So man, yeah, it's a lot to read, but let me read the logo. As you can see on these bottles, the special logo that you see here and here. Each tequila, each people that do the tequila has a unique story. So I like reading up on stuff, knowing stuff, being resourceful. So about the logo, we drew inspiration for our logo and branding from centuries of history and heritage rooted in Mexico and tequila. The logo is a reflection of the Mexican culture and symbolizes strength, pride, tradition, and perseverance. The word flecha translates to arrow in English. An arrow is a sign of perseverance. It can only move forward once its continued tension is pulled back is released. To hit its target, the arrow must be aimed high. This holds true to the humble beginnings of our founders. Just like the arrow, they aimed high despite all pullbacks to launch their plants, their path to success. At the center of the Fletcher Azul tequila logo is an arrow. Ooh, the arrow is certainly placed inside of the symbol of strength, the koa. Used by Himidors, highly skilled Mexican farmers, the koa is Quintessential is a quintessential tool used to harvest the piña, the core of Blue Weber Agave. Himador spent hours hand cutting each individual individual leaf from every plant. This process is both time and labor intensive and requires incredible skill and strength to produce the agave. The word azul translates to blue, a nod to the quality of agave used in making the product. Made from 100% Blue Weber agave, this ultra premium product is made from the finest agave in the world. This can be seen in the color of the arrow within the logo and the leaves that encircle the center. Surrounding the arrow and the koa are dozens of Blue Weber agave leaves. The leaves are strategically placed to look like a burst of light behind the koa and arrow. A symbol of energy just like the bright and vibrant culture of the people of Mexico. A symbol of life that the light gives to the fields of Jalisco, Mexico. A symbol of purity in that Fletcher Azul tequila is tequila in its most natural and truest form. Okay, that was a lot to read. Don't know if y'all cared about that at all, but I did. So, we got one, two, three, four of these, and there's a fifth one. If I can get that Cristalino, we could do that. So, I've tasted all these before, and we're about to taste them right here now just to do a rerun. But, it's top tier. It is a ultra premium tequila. And the first one we're going to start with, to let you know, is the Blanco. You all know Blanco. Everybody makes a Blanco tequila. Fletcher Azul, you can feel the words on there. You can feel that symbol. Oh, it just looks off. 
the chain and the top part has the logo which you can barely see but it's ingrained it's indented in there so blanco crystal clear you already know oh the fletchers oh yes these bottles are pretty neat they're pretty circular around they feel good in your hands you got the little logo here you got the fletcher azul you got the 100% de agave de agave azul tequila blanco enjoy in mexico enjoy it everywhere FletcherAzulTequila.com, back by Mark Wahlberg. So when it came out a couple months ago, I had to get it. I was like, Mark Wahlberg, he's promoting it. You know, tequila, I like to enjoy tequila everywhere. So, and it's just one of those things. A bunch of people get the tequila game. As you can see on my last video, Kevin Hart's Chris Leon, pretty good. So this comes in at about 40% alcohol per volume. It is 80 proof. It says, harvested by hand, bottled at source. Maybe him answer. Ultra premium tequila. Okay, a bottle of this goes for $41.99 on total wine. So, the Blanco, let's go, let's give you all the details. We gotta know, we gotta know, we gotta go, gotta go. We got to know what each tequila tastes and smells like. I'm going to give you that hint right there. So they got five in the lineup. I'm missing that one. If I can get that Cristalino, oof, we'll be set. Okay. Now Blanco says, agave, citrus, and fruit. 150 years of history and heritage. Our Blanco is the foundation for all of our tequilas and delivers an authentic, balanced flavor profile where expressive spice and cooked agave give way to ripe fruit and honey sweet floral notes. Rested in stainless steel for two months to mellow it while keeping its bright, crisp character in place. So, citrus and fruit with a honey sweet floral note. So, let's go ahead and open it up. It's got a unique cork. Ooh, the smell. Ooh. Yeah, this tequila is pretty damn fine. Well, I definitely, definitely smell agave. Definitely uh, smell a little spice. And, and floral notes. Bright, crisp character. Okay, now what we're going to do to get a taste of each of these, we're going to go a half an ounce on each one. We're going to use one of these whiskey glasses because you get the smell I guess it would do a cognac glasses cognac what we're gonna do and we're gonna measure it out in our little jigger right here which is top part is an ounce bottom half is half ounce which is 15 milliliter 30 milliliter with one ounce so let's go half an ounce let's go ahead and set it down right here let's fill a half an ounce of blanco Right there, how we do it. Put this back on right here. And pour it in our glass right there. Get that all in there. So, Blanco. Oh, serve it in the glass right here. Yeah, one of these types of glasses is what they do. They do it like this. If you're sipping whiskey or cognac to get the hand warmed it up. And you smell it. The smell is like in a circle. Ah, sweet. Ooh, yeah. That's good. Ripe fruit and honey sweet floor notes. Okay, let's go for a taste here. Salute. Mm. Wow. Ooh. Mm. Spice. And citrus. And fruit. That is some darn good Blanco tequila from Flesh Azul. Right away. Right away you can taste the spice. <clears throat> then it goes from fruit to citrus. That is a good Blanco. And it's got a bite to it because you know it is it is 80 proof. And it's 40 percent alcohol by volume. But that, wow. Floral notes. Definitely is in there. So that is off the chain right there. I like that Blanco. So at 41 $42, you know, tax and everything. 
I think a Blanco, get you one of these, Total Wine Reserve Bar. That's pretty good. All right, that concludes our Blanco. Now, the Reposado. Ultra Premium also, 80 proof, 40% alcohol by volume. You can see it's got like a, kind of like a, what do you call this color? Light, light brown. And this is what the bottle looks like. Reposado is a pretty popular tequila. Blanco and Reposado are pretty much well known. This one says spice, oak, and floral. It maintains the bright, crisp character of our traditional Blanco, layering citrus and a gentle grassiness against praline, vanilla, sandalwood, and subtle baking spice. It's aged six months in ex bourbon American oak barrels. And let me just show you the image here. If you look under the Fletcher Tequila website, this is what it's like. These didn't come in no uh, no box or nothing. The total wine they were just sitting on the shelf. But this one we'll go to this one later. That that's for the expensive, the extra and they hold. So on this one we're gonna get spice, oak, and floral. Who knows? Who knows? But let's go. Let's try it out. What do we get our smell? Ooh. Spice, oak, floral. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit dark. Hmm. That smells good. Ultra premium. Let's get a half ounce here again. Oh, snap. Oh, spilled just a little bit. My bad. Definitely get a spice smell. Oak and floral. Fletcher Azul Reposado. Ooh wee. Right, going in the glass. You can see the color stays there. Definitely fro. Salute. Let's go again. Definitely a lot smoother than the Blanco, for sure. Mm. I'm getting that vanilla and praline in the sandalwood and the subtle baking spice. It's like I said, that's some good reposado right there. Ultra premium. Wow. A lot less on the bite, but it's very smooth. That is so good. All right. Next. We have, let's try to go through these quickly. I'm right, 13 minutes. Okay, the Anejo. The Anejo, as you can see, compared to the Reposado, is it a little darker? Yeah, it looks like a little bit darker. As you can see, the label has changed from dark, slight darker. Anejo tequila, same 80 proof, 4%, 40% alcohol by volume. Same bottle design right there. This one's going to be agave, buttery, and oak. This is Anejo is expressive of rich maple and caramel, but never cloying as dried herbs and pineapple cream soda keep things vibrant. All tied together with a lingering note of black pepper. 18 months aged in X bourbon barrels. Six months longer than the industry standard for Anejo. Six months longer than the standard for Anejo. So this is the Nejo. Let's go ahead and pop it open. What do we get? Okay, agave. Ooh. Oak. Buttery. Okay. Wow, that smells good. This is definitely ultra premium. Half ounce. Not filling it all the way up to the top to this thing. So maybe just a less a little less than a half ounce. I don't want to get too buzzed here. I like to enjoy. I like to enjoy tequila. Like enjoy responsibly. Definitely just sip on it. It's it's good. Mix it in the cocktail. But you know, you know yourself. Responsible drinking. I don't get drunk. I don't do that type of thing. It's good to make to enjoy fellowship with friends. You already know the deal. We responsible around here. Okay. Wow, this smells off the chain. 
I like that. Okay, we're supposed to get dried herbs, pineapple cream soda, and then learning to know the black pepper. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, it's just like they say. It has a little bit more bite since it's a nejo. But I taste the herb, pineapple cream soda. That's there. But that finish is a black pepper for sure. Oh, it is buttery, which is kind of smooth. Wow. That is off the chain. Off the chain. The anejo. This is so cool. <laughs> this is off the chain. So the anejo. Agave, buttery, and oak. Ooh. Now, the big dog is our last but not least. Extra anejo. Oh yeah, I forgot, to, I forgot to tell you. The reposado goes for more than the blanco. It goes for $46.99. The anejo is even expensive, er, and it goes for $51.99. Now the big dog extra in Aho goes for two hundred and eighty nine dollars. Two hundred and eighty nine dollars and it's currently out of stock where I live. But we just got a little bit right here. Let's show you this unique bottle. This comes in a ooh gold type of like overlay extra anejo. With the little symbol there that says uh, crafted authentically in Jalisco, Mexico. Eighty proof four percent, forty percent. Ooh, bottle that source. Yeah, it even so. Ooh, let me show you. now. Let me show you the harvest date. 2019 harvest date. Bottle batch number. All that good stuff on the back of there. Oh, and to top it all off, the lid has a special indention of Fletcher Azul Limited Edition. Ooh, so if you got these ones, hold on to it. And ooh, this is different from the other one. This is the real indented logo all oh, that feels just so awesome the way the way that is right there ladies and gentlemen the logo right there that just feels off the chain okay you, as you can see compared to the Neho is it about the same color nah it's a little bit darker they kind of go from like light to dark to dark to darker so extra Neho is vanilla almond and oak Bam. Our powerful extra anejo floods the senses with praline, roasted pineapple, and vanilla. On the palate, its weight is tempered with gently extracted wood tannin for a balanced and complex finish. Aged 36 months in ex bourbon American oak barrels. Crafted to, to sip on neat. No mixture needed. So, this is the box it came in. Fletcher's oil with the feel right there and the feel right there. Box the an extra anejo. The top dog goes at for a price of $289. Ooh, limited edition. This cool little blue box. It's kind of it's a black, kind of a dark blue, I guess. Extra anejo right there with the label. And it just sits in there. Like that. When we got it. Ain't that pretty neat? And it's magnetic. So right there, let's go ahead, see the box, $289, but as you see, I've kind of sipped on it from time to time, <laughs> I've mixed it too, so I can't believe I got that much left, but this is pretty good, so this is awesome. Okay, so we should get vanilla, almond and oak, ooh, praline, praline, roasted pineapple, and vanilla on the senses, the ta- oh. Oh, I'm getting that vanilla. Wow, that smells so good. That smells so good for three hundred dollars. Right around probably put tax probably around doing that, but two eighty nine dollars. Wow, that smells so good. Okay, let's go for half ounce. Ooh, wait. That smells off. Ooh. That smells so good. Okay. Let's try it. Extra anejo. Let's go. All right. The extra anejo. Fletcher Azul Tequila. Top dog. 
the Crystallino, if we could ever get that one, if we could ever get Crystallino, that one goes for around $100, I think. It doesn't show because it's out of stock, but I think that's what it is. Okay, extra nail. Our last but not least, tequila. The Fletcher Zoo. The Praline. The Roasted Pineapple. The Vanilla. Let's go. Mmm. Ooh. Smooth with a slight bite. Definitely made to sip. This is on the palate. You can taste like a woody texture with a balanced and complex finish. The notes, the notes. More oak and like just like wood. But the smell is vanilla and almond and oak. Okay. Very good. For $289. Extra Nejo. It's made to be sipped neat. Now that is good. That is a good sip of tequila right there. Ultra premium. Now myself personally, I don't know if I'm a big fan of like wood or complex finishes. But uh, I like stuff with flavor. I guess that's just me. But for what it is. That's good. I like flavored drinks and alcohol and stuff, but that being extra anejo, being what it is, that is definitely worth the price point. I'd say $289 for Fletcher Azul extra anejo. Definitely one of the top tier dogs. Get your family and friends. Break this one out when you want to celebrate big time. Whew. Extra anejo. We did it, fellas. That is all the tequila minus the Cristalino. And let's just go for the Cristalino description just because we don't have it. It says chocolate and vanilla and oak. Triple filtered Anejo Cristalino, which is clear, is all the warmth of our traditional Anejo. But it's still light and soft on the palate, balancing notes of vanilla and dark chocolate. Ooh, with a long, luxurious finish. I want that chocolate. I want to know what this one's like. 18 months aged in X bourbon barrels in part vanilla, coconut, and subtle baking spice. Ooh, so the smell would be... No? Yeah, the smell would be vanilla, coconut, and baking spice. But the taste would be vanilla and dark chocolate. Ooh, it just... That just looks good. Right there, that just, ooh, Cristalino, and I can't get it. I could get it, but I have to drive about two and a half hours to go to Houston and get it, or San Antonio. But it's currently not available to be shipped online. But that is all the Fletcher Azul Tequila. Let's run it back again. Extra Anejo. The one before that is a regular Anejo. The one before that is the Reposado. The first one, the clear one, is the Blanco. And they're all in like cool little bottle. I love the type of wooden caps they got. Those three are the same, but the limited edition extra Nejo's got this indented. Ooh. I love the feel for that. Ooh, tequila Nejo, extra Nejo. Ooh. 100% agave azul. This one's the gold. This one's the cream of the crop right here. So that's one, two, three, four of review. And ladies and gentlemen, so for all of these tequila, you're looking to spend over $40. And then the Nejo goes for $51. And this bad boy goes for $289. Woo! Extra Nejo. So I gotta say, Fletcher Azul, Mark Wahlberg, Mark Wahlberg, you did your thing. You got it? It is definitely ultra premium. Age 36 months. Woo! Fletcher Azul. Let me know what you guys think. If you've ever tried Fletcher Azul tequila. Or if you have a favorite brand. Drop it in the comments below. Let me know your favorite tequila by far. But so far. 
I got some more reviews on the way, but Fletcher Zoo, okay. Marco Albert, it's got a beautiful taste. Let's go. I think it's well worth the price point, the doing the work. Appreciate the farmers, the people that make tequila, the guys out there that we don't see, the people that we don't see that bring our products to life on the shelves. Gotta appreciate, gotta be thankful for those guys. Because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be able to enjoy this fine tequila as you see before me. So ladies and gentlemen, that about wrap up the whole video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what kind of tequila is your favorite. Do you like Blanco? Do you, rap, do you like Reposado? Do you like Anejo? Do you like Extra Anejo? What kind of cocktails do you like to do? I like to sip, sip stuff straight up first, let you know how it tastes. Then you can mix it, you know. But everything from its origin, you gotta you gotta taste it straight just to low, let you know how it tastes because that's the uniqueness from the founders and how they made it. Each tequila is different, each brand of alcohol is different, but for me, that's pretty darn good. I like Fletcher's Oil. I like what they're doing. Go check them out. The links will be in the description below. Mark Wahlberg and Fletcher Zool. Keep doing it. I can't wait to see this in store. It's currently not in store where I'm at. I have to go an hour away, almost an hour away to get it. But soon enough, they'll probably, they'll probably be everywhere we can find them. But you can find them online at reservebar.com and totalwine.com. You can pick up if it's in your area and have it delivered. But I'm in South Texas, so I have to drive to go pick it up. But hope you enjoyed the video, ladies and gentlemen. Love you. Go out there, change the world, be yourself, sip on tequila, enjoy it with your family and friends. What a wonderful spirit. That's cool. Tequila, y'all doing y'all's thing. A lot of people are getting the game. I like it, man. I like it. It's cool. But with that, be yourself, change the world. Let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. And we will see you guys in the next review. Love you.